Hi, this is Rich at Watermaster Rafts. I'm here to show you how to set up the Bruin Fishing Package. The first step is setting up the side rails. There are two piece side rail. Each side has an A or a B corresponding to the side. Match those up. Make sure the head of the bolts are facing the right direction. Insert the bolt and tighten the nut. The next step is putting on the oar mounts. In order to put on the oar mounts, you'll need to put the U-bolt through the bottom, two washers, and two nuts. This is the same process you'll use throughout the entire frame to attach all the crossbars. Slide the oar mount from the back end all the way forward until you hit the nuts that connect the two side rails, as far forward as you can go. The next step is to attach the straight crossbar that you will mount the rower seat to. This bar needs a component added to it for the anchor system, the single pulley. To add this pulley, use the longer U-bolt provided with the anchor system and insert it on the right side. Fit the pulley facing towards the inside of the raft, add the washers and the nuts. Now put the standard U-bolt on the other side on the left and slide the crossbar onto the side rails from the rear of the raft. Slide it from the back end forward approximately 12 to 16 inches. Next, we need to attach the foot bar. In order to do this, we need to attach the cleat pulley assembly. Remove the bolt on the right hand side and replace it with the longer bolt that came with the anchor system. Thread it through using the half inch socket set Instead of banging it through with a hammer, this will prevent damage. Attach the cleat pulley and tighten the nut. Insert the U-bolts onto either side of the foot bar with the washers and the nuts and slide it onto the side rails from the front of the raft. The high-rise bar for the fisherman's seat in the front. Using the same process as before, attach the U-bolts, washers and nut and slide it onto the front of the frame. The last crossbar we need to attach is the rear straight crossbar. This bar goes behind the rower's seat. Now we're going to attach the rear accessory bar. It's the three-quarter bar that fits onto the back end of the raft that allows you to attach the anchor system. The Bruin fishing frame comes with two three-quarter bars, one the thigh bar and one is the rear accessory bar. You can tell the difference because the rear accessory bar has a longer section after the last bend. Attach the rear accessory bar by laying it as far right as you can on the rear crossbar inserting the U-bolts, washers, and nuts. Now we'll attach the final piece of the anchor system onto the three-quarter accessory bar. Using the provided U-bolts, attach it to the center of the bar and feel free to tighten this at this point level with the wrap. Time to attach the last bar, the thigh bar for the front. Attach it to the left side, as close to the bolts on the high-rise bar as you can. Now it's time to position the crossbars and tighten all the nuts. It's up to you exactly where you want to position the seats, the oar locks, or the foot bar. You can do this any way you want, depending on how much room you need, how many people you have, and what accessories you're using. It's important when setting up the frame before you tighten to measure in between each bar to make sure that it's square to the side rails. It's important when tightening the nuts to tighten them evenly. Before tightening all the crossbars, make sure to have the side rails positioned so that the heads of the nuts and the bolts do not touch the raft. This will prevent damage from rubbing. Now lift the three quarter thigh bar to about a 45 degree angle from the raft and tighten the nuts. Make sure these are very tight so that when you lean forward, you prevent it from moving. We sell two different types of oars, so depending on which oar you chose, 
depends on which ore locks. The standard ore lock that comes with the Sora Utility Ore simply, simply slides into the ore mount with a washer, another washer underneath, a spring, and then the split ring. If you have the Stealth Ore, you will insert a bushing into the ore mount first, and then a washer ore lock. a wash underneath, a spring, and a split ring. To attach the seats, you first need to attach the universal seat mounts. Insert the U-bolts, washers and nuts, and before you tighten them, make sure they are level. Center the universal seat mounts on the rower seat bar and on the front high-rise angler seat bar. It is important to tighten the universal seat mounts extremely tight so that anyone seated doesn't swivel back or forward on the water. To attach the rower's seat, use the four provided bolts and tighten. To attach the high back angler seat, you're going to need a 7 16 inch open wrench. Set it on the universal seat mount, insert the four provided bolts and washers and tighten the nuts. Finally, strap the frame down to the raft using the two foot NRS straps that come in the package. Run the straps through the large D-rings found on both sides of the raft. 